All right, please welcome up our second contestant, Danielle Bacarizo. So first, I like to start my toast with a toast. So can everybody raise their glass in front of them? Cheers to the <coughs> beautiful bride and groom. Cheers, everybody. All right, I'm all out. Can someone, while I'm doing this, you know, bring it up, please? Um, anywho, if you don't know the beautiful person standing in front of you, my name is Danielle, and I am the bride's best friend. But before I get started, all you single gentlemen out there, I am single and ready to mingle. <laughs> so keep that in mind as I'm just standing up here in white, beautiful. Anyways, I met the bride, Melissa, at our first day at Alpha Phi Gamma Alpha Phi Gamma Delta Gamma Alpha T. <laughs> I just knew from the first day we were going to be sisters for life, except for this one little hiccup we had where I found her, I mean Shaggy says it best, banging on the bathroom floor. It was a couch, but it was my boyfriend. <laughs> I took the queen of country's advice and I slashed all four tires, but it's okay because we got past it. They're married now, guys. It's it's totally fine. I obviously got, I got past it. I mean, Melissa, for your sake, I hope Kyle really figured out what to do down there because, I mean, y'all know, like, just because you need to be a giver, not just a taker, Kyle, okay? Don't just make you put her, like, your dick in her mouth, okay? I know that's what she did a lot in college, but you're married now, so give it, okay? Anywho, so, I mean, I really didn't prepare anything for today. I just kind of said, I'm going to wing it and fuck it. But I do have a story. She swore me to secrecy, but I'm going to tell you all anyways. So this one time back in college, we were down at the bar, you know, taking tequila shots, throwing them back. And we're up on tables, you know, getting down all the way. <laughs> I got down in a different way. I just got down on the dance floor. She got down in a whole different way. But anyways, but that's not the funny part. That was like an every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of thing. <laughs> the funny part is that guy that she ended up taking back to our apartment is now the best man. Hey, Dan, can you raise your hand for everybody? That. <laughs> But guys, I'm so sorry, you won't get to go down on him. His wife's sitting across from him, so she'll be the only one going down on him tonight. <laughs> or this other time, again, we were throwing tequila shots, maybe popping some Molly, the usual Thursday night. And all of a sudden she starts getting sick over and over and over again. And she's really ruining our hike. She's like, guys, I think I gotta go to the hospital. And we're like, no, no, you really don't have to go to the hospital. You're fine, just go throw up, stick your you know, finger in the back of your throat, you're fine. But, ends up she really did have to go to the hospital, except to this day, her parents still think that she just got like appendicitis and her appendix is out, but really her stomach was pumped. So sorry, mom and dad. Um, that hospital bill was really just your daughter popping a lot of molly and drinking a lot of tequila. <laughs> so sorry about that. Oh, one more story. So there's this one time that there is Santa Claus, donkey. You know what? If you want to hear that story, come find me after. I will be happy. But I will be on the dance floor. Remember, single ready to mingle, getting down on the dance floor. But really, did no one bring me another drink yet? <laughs> okay. Um, but what else is there today? Honestly, I'm just so happy we made it to today, guys, because this is all Melissa could talk about over and over and over again. This is the only thing that she could talk about, from the hair to the dress to her psycho mother-in-law. I was like, we all get it. You're getting married. Come on. There's other shit going on in the world. It's fine. But as her maid of honor, I always knew I had to be honest with her, like at her dress fitting. 
she tried on this dress, but I had to be honest with her, it really was just not for her body type. So I knew that it would look good on me and I knew that I was gonna be standing next to her and I know I wore a different dress at the altar, but I just thought like, her day's over pretty much. I can now wear the white dress that's gonna look better on me <laughs> than it is her. So, I mean, I just can't believe that she really, that they settled down before me. I mean, I guess they are a match made in heaven, like I said. He likes to put things in her mouth. She likes to take things in her mouth. It's fine. But there was like a really cute, fuck it, I'm gonna take my shot. There was a really cute groomsman. Um, if you don't mind joining me, he was blonde, blue eyed. I'm just gonna shoot my shot, guys. If you could just make a way for him right here, he's just gonna. Come here. Well, I won't be single for long, ladies, sorry. Anywho, let's, you know, make another toast to the bride and groom on their first marriage. Cheers, everybody.